Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, and I'm having lunch. <laughs> and I Really, I never do this, but I made myself about a third of a flank steak, you know, just in a hot pan with some oil. and put a sear on it, but I didn't. It's not overdone. It's more like medium rare. And then I put in a half a container of Bella mushrooms and got those going. I got some fruit here. And of course my trusty iced tea and so that's going to be lunch for today it is just almost noon and I usually try to do lunch right after noon but I'm a little bit early so later on today I'm gonna make um, a pasta salad for the guys for dinner and I'm the only one here right now but the dogs so I didn't have to share yummy 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 more later Yep, it's gone. That was delicious. It was wonderful, perfect. The butter that I put in, I don't know if I said olive oil in butter, but I put a pat of butter in and it makes those mushrooms velvety on your tongue. You know, they're wonderful. The weather is cooler today and I forgot to introduce myself. I've been feeling really slow and low because of the hot, hot weather here. And so uh, it just affects me that way. That's why I don't live in the South. <laughs> I live here where it doesn't supposed to be like that. I live in the Pacific Northwest in Washington State near Seattle. Anyway, welcome friends, welcome everyone, people that are new, people that are not new. And I look forward to uh, getting some more out with this video in a little bit later. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Friday, Friday, yay, fry, yay. I slept in this morning, gruesome, well, okay, I shouldn't say I slept in, I got up super early, and I opened up the house, and I let all the heat out, it's cooler today, it's much cooler, but anyway, I, I got the stage set so it wouldn't stay hot, and um, I did all the laundry, folded it, put it away, and emptied the dishwasher, I did a lot of different stuff, and then I sat down on the couch, and I was a little chilly, so I put a little blankie on me. The dogs jumped in my lap, and we both took a two-hour nap, both, all of us, three of us. Okay, so that's my story on why I was a lazy, lazy this morning, <laughs> this day. So anyway, now it's about noon. Is it? Mm, no. It's 11.30, so bad enough. So anyway, I'm going to make an iced coffee. I'm going to try this oat milk for the first time. I smelled it. I couldn't smell anything. I put like a drop or two on a spoon and I smelled oatmeal kind of, but I'm gonna see if I like it in this iced coffee. I brewed this coffee last night and um, just set it in the refrigerator to get cold. I just use regular Folgers and I use my French press and here's the oat milk and I got a straw and I got a cup and we'll see how that works. Okay, I'll put some ice. Oops. Let's get this closer. Nice ice. Okay, I do like a lot of ice and I'll probably add more. Let's see how that is. There we go. And then I'm gonna grab this. I shook it real good. So we'll see how that works. I hope I didn't put too much. If I did, I'll just add coffee to it as I drink it, which I'll probably do no matter what. I don't drink iced coffees that often, but when I do, I always say to myself, why don't I get these more often? And I never put flavor or anything like that in it. Mine are always just coffee and some sort of milk. If it's a Starbucks order, what do they call it? Um, oh, I just get um, Americano with extra cream, which is, you know, espresso, I guess, and water and cream. Let's see how that is. Where's that little? There it is. Ooh, 
baby. That's good stuff, Maynard. <laughs> I like it. I like that a lot. Mmm. Yeah, it's better than regular milk for sure. And it's better for you than cream, which is what I'm using. I don't mean hubby cream. I mean, you know, like half and half. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to make... Get dinner ready because it's going to be an all-day kind of thing. Um, it's I don't mean an all-day kind of thing to make it, but it'll just last in the refrigerator until it's gone. It's a big salad. Well, I got... Let me see if I can get this to focus real well, maybe. Okay, I got a little, like under $100 grocery delivery last night. I was hurting um, just, you know, basically from arthritis and fat and whatever else and so um i got some tylenol no not tylenol i got advil pm which i thought would both kill the pain and knock me out which it did <laughs> because i took that long nap even this morning but my point is i got this in the bottom of my receipt so apparently there's a recall notice if you've purchased this product listed below, return the product for a refund. And then for questions, you've got General Mills, and it says to call 1-800-230-8103. You're looking for um, gold medal all-purpose flour in five-pound bags with the use buys of 327.24 and 328.24. And then there's also two-pound bags, and you can see that there. And there's also, let's see, what's the difference between the first and the last? I don't know, but you can read it for yourself. So this product may contain salmonella. If eaten, it could result in severe allergic reaction. What? For the persons sensitive to salmonella? Sensitive to salmonella? I thought everybody was sensitive to that. But, you know, I think it's worded so carefully by lawyers, teams of them, Um <laughs> Salmonella is never a good thing. You don't have to be sensitive to it. If you have this and you're able to see your package, it's probably a good thing to check it out. However, if you're like me, you buy bags of flour and you dump them in food-safe buckets and store them away. So I know that I have mm, probably 75-ish pounds of um, flour in this brand. It's the brand I buy with no dates and so there that, this is problematic <laughs> I don't know what to say about that um, grocery stores especially Costco and Fred Meyer Kroger have gotten very very good at keeping track of what we've bought in the past and hooking us up with our um, numbers you know that we give them for our discounts and letting us know when we bought stuff but don't depend on that look if you can and call and get it from someone besides me Look it up online, look it up wherever you need to, go to the store, you know, check out this number here that they are giving to call. I wish my, my phone would quit acting up. Okay, so that's going to be it for today, and I hope if you saw anything you liked, besides salmonella, of course, you give me a, a chat. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and show you just what I got. I mean, I'm here, right? If it'll read it. So, uh... It was a, you know, a delivery. Delivery fee was nine ninety five because I've not paid my Kroger Fred Meyer membership to have delivery. But they're fast and they're good and it's never a surprise. And if it is, they make it right. So I got some more water. That's Topo Chico. I got three orange soda pops for the can outside. I got three Mexican Cokes. I got a Milo's tea. Uh, oh, I got some chicken thighs. I got something you steam. Hmm, don't remember what that was, but probably vegetables. Since I was already making an order, I didn't want to just order the medication I wanted. Uh, simple truth, oh, that must have been, um, it was probably, oh, who knows, Kroger Milk Regular Advil PM. That sucker was fifteen ninety nine, but there was a $2 off coupon online. I got some Franz biscuits. Oh, those are English muffins, but they're biscuit style, so nobody has tried one yet, but they're up there by the bread. I got a package of, uh, what do you call those? Uh, raspberries. <laughs> and a Mariner's Reward. What the heck? I don't know what that means. So then, you know, they charged me 24 cents for bags and four ninety seven for tax, and my balance was ninety six twelve and... 
16 items, not very much, probably my smallest ever. It says I saved 436. Woohoo! And that's about that. Let's see if there's anything else. And then, of course, at the very bottom was this love, love note, which is that's the clearest it's come in. Well, let's leave this here for you to read. Okay, now I'll go back to saying goodbye. If you like what you saw, I hope you'll come back. Give me a thumbs up. Make a comment. Do you uh, buy gold medal flower? It's my what I always buy. Take care, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.